Hmm? Oh, hello everyone. It's your friendly neighborhood cinema snob here, back for a second season. And as you can see, uh, times are tough, my friends. I know that in the previous episode I promised you a new set, but, well, shit happens. I'm currently still at the old place as I, as I patiently await electricity to get turned on at the new place. So, here I sit in a near-empty room with bare-naked DVD racks, um, no comfy chair, and, um, what the fuck is this? Oh, oh, okay, uh, horrifying experiments of the SS last days. Hmm. You know what I feel like? I feel like Georgina Spelvin at the end of The Devil and Miss Jones. Only I am getting fucked. I guess I should show you the cover of the DVD I have, but uh, let me give you the story behind it first. I ordered this on a bootleg from Video Screams, and it's one of the titles that doesn't come with a box cover, so naturally I decided to make my own cover for it. Well. Here's what I came up with. This guy has clearly wandered onto the wrong side of town. If only the actual movie was this lighthearted looking. I guarantee you, this guy is not in the actual movie. Okay, I'm sure a lot of you know this territory by now when it comes to this subgenre. There's a butch female SS officer who I think might be a lesbian. Because if there's one thing the Nazis tolerated, it was open homosexuality. Macha Magal plays Dr. Crotch, yes, Dr. Crotch, who conducts scientific experiments in order to improve upon the master race. Look at this. I don't think this is improving on anything. Congratulations. You've created Andre the Giant. Throughout the movie, Dr. Crotch injects this unsexy beast with a serum and then throws naked women in, ca in the cage with him so he can rape them to death. What the fuck is that gonna prove? So in any other movie, something like that might be pretty disturbing, but when you have shots of the beast basically humping the camera and making those ogreish faces, it's just plain campy, and that remains so even when he eats, you know, you'll just have to find out for yourself what he's eating. I don't know about this Dr. Crotch character. She's just not all that intimidating looking. It looks like they were trying to go with some cross between Judy Garland and Charlotte Rambling, but what we end up with is definitely not Judgment at Nuremberg, nor is it the Night Porter. No, no. This is a movie where even the opening scene is filler. Look at this. It stays on this image of a swastika for about five minutes. Okay, I get it. There's probably going to be Nazis in this movie. Jesus Christ. They should have shortened this scene and maybe taken out the shot with the shadow of the camera crew that's clearly visible in one scene. The only thing that would have made that funnier is if it were a giant fucking mirror. This is one of the video nasties, um, which does make it one of the more notorious non-ILSA entries in the Nazi exploitation subgenre, but unlike um, Unhinged, this movie actually is pretty fucking nasty. Seriously, I don't even know if I can show some of the torture scenes in this movie. Well, okay, maybe just a little. Hey, you like babies? Now, you may be asking yourself, why is everyone getting tortured in this movie? It's to get information out of them. Duh. Because we all know that the way to get information is to have sex with someone and then shoot them in the crotch. Okay, so the movie isn't 100% all torture. There is a subplot about a group of rebels who come together to fight the Germans. Uh, by come together, you mean they argue a lot and betray one another. The main hero of the film is called Drago. No, not that Drago. 
We follow Drago around through this subplot, which I have to be honest is really fucking boring and so out of place in this film that it's like if you edited together The Dirty Dozen and Hostel into one movie. Oh yeah, that'd be fucking great. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, who cares about all this rebellion shit when you have a priest who can kick ass and spout off lines like, The Lord won't betray you, he's the best. There's also a line in this fucking thing where Dr. Krajnak asks someone if they would rather have a sexual deviant or an asexual angel. Then, of course, there's this. Tell me, do you find the spectacle exciting, Private Schultz? Yes, yes of course. Yeah. Who would be excited? <laughs> <laughs> Spineless fool! A soldier of the Third Reich isn't supposed to get excited at any spectacle! You know, some of these lines are worthy to be included in a sequel to Rats. Horrifying Experiments is the second Nazi exploitation movie to be featured on this show, and I promise you, it won't be the last. But truth be told, it's not even the worst of the genre. It's just really easy to make fun of a movie whose alternate titles are The Beast in Heat and SS Hell Camp. In fact, Shriek Show released the movie under the SS Hell Camp title. I clearly bought this before they released theirs, but you know what? I like my title better. You have to admit, though, that is a title that does promise a lot of sleaze. Not only are we getting horrifying experiments, but they're done by the bastards of the SS, and during their last days as well. It's not often you see a title that promises both torture porn and the fall of the Third Reich. Regardless, I shall be sticking with Schindler's List. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, uh, one more thing. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Video Screams accidentally put two movies on the same disc. Once this movie ends, Lucio Fulci's The Psychic starts to play. At first I thought it would just be a few minutes of the movie, you know, accidentally just thrown in there, but it's the whole thing. The problem is, is it's not dubbed in English or subtitled. Great. They paid more attention to the shit than the Shinola. <sighs> the only thing I have now to cheer me up is this Mr. Bill bobblehead. <laughs>